how to change Wix website template. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can change the Wix template that you are going to use in a Wix. So all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Wix.com. Then you need simply to sign in into your account. And as you can see, here we have the account of ours in Wix. You can see here we have the sites dashboard. We can explore and see the uh, sites that we own and we have right there. So right here we can see that I own a lot of websites and these are only uh, created for the set or the sake of the video and not for any personal uses. So make sure to use your own information, also your own account and your own Thanks to make everything goes well, for example, for payment methods and shipping and etc. So now uh, right here, we are going to, uh, let's say here, I want to change this specific uh, right here website uh, into another uh, theme or template. How we can do that? We cannot directly do this, but in case you want to do that, you're going to create a new website. So when you click on here, more action, you can see here that we cannot do something else to this specific website. But right there, you can go ahead and click on select and edit site. Then you are going to see the dashboard. So all I need you to do right there is to go ahead right there to the catalog. If you are owning a store in this specific website, you're going to see here the products, the inventory and everything. Then you are going to select, for example, all of your products right there. Then you need to export them. So uh, select the products and it begin to export them. Then you need to do that for also the blog, the inventory, the categories. Also, if you have set some categories, you can go ahead and do the same thing to the blog also. Here we have the option to uh, uh, import the post, but in case you have a post, you are going to export it. So once you have did that, you are going back to the site's dashboard. Then you are going to click on create new website. And from here, we are going to try or create on uh, the standard Wix editor. We have the option to choose the AI to help us, but I am going to proceed without the chat. Now, let's say that we have here a uh, the choice to type or to uh, uh, write right there the type of the website. I am only going to select the online store, so we are going to say it, it say that it is a bro choice to make an online store that uh, sells everything. So right here, it will uh, load your dashboard. But right here, it is a new website. Now let's go ahead and click on design right there. So here you can go ahead and put the name of your store, but I will skip this uh, to later. All I need to do is to click on a design site and it will take you to this specific page. You can generate a design with AI or customize the template. I'm going to pick a template. Then we are going to see all of the available templates that are on our uh, library. For example, here we have a lot of choices. You can also filter them using uh, these, uh, as you can see, words or uh, these keywords. You can go ahead and filter, for example, for uh, food and drinks, electronics, and etc. For example, you can see here the fashion clothing, also, you can go ahead and sort by the newest top template or the recommended. And here we have the type of the uh, templates. We have business services, stores, creative, community, blogging uh, templates, and etc. You can also create a blank template and then you are going to set it a section by section, also block by block. So I'm going to select this, for example, electronic. So we are going to click on edit. Now it will set up the website and it will take a little bit of time to uh, redeem this specific website. So we are going to wait for 
the preparation of the site. So right here we have the website uh, ready. You can go ahead and enhance your AI content by uh, generating the site text. For example, you can go ahead and set uh, the or put a little detail about your site and uh, the AI will generate all of the fields uh, text right there for you. As you can see here, we have the website. I'm going to uh, click uh, on one of the items. So we are going to see here that everything is okay. We have the product, the categories and everything. So let's say that we are going to migrate our website or the current website, which is this one to this one, how we can do that. Here, we are going back to the website dashboard. This is why I told you to uh, export first your uh, website. And here we have it, I think. This is the website. So make sure that if you are going to have a store in this website, make sure that you are going to get the Wix stores. So you are going to click on the four dots right there, Wix app market. Go ahead and make the stores also for this specific website. And I think this it has a store if it has the best sellers section, it has a store automatically. Now we are going to select the site right there. This is uh, the name of it. It is called my site three. So we are going to wait for the dashboard. Here we have it. So we have the sales, the catalog. Here we have the uh, catalog of the products. We need first to import the data of our right there. As you can see here, uh, I'm going to let you see here the data that we have collected. You can go ahead and import them. Uh, from your downloads. I will let you see your downloads. Here we have the product catalog. Then it doesn't matter. It is taking a little bit of time. Then the second thing is to go right there to the first website that we've made. Uh, we've made uh, the decision to change. And this is it. Go to the dashboard of that website. Then we are going to change the domain of the website. So right there, we are going to get on the three dots right there, or we are going to see here the domain. So let's search for the domain. I'm going to search for the domain right away, or it could be right there on the account settings. So we are going to visit the domains right away. So we are going to wait right here. Uh, connect a domain you already own. If you have a domain already in this specific area, you are going to uh, change the uh, ownership of the domain to the uh, website that you have added right away. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content. I hope to see you soon on the next one.